So that goes actually into the next question. In Israel, Israelis, Olim, both, do they have careers or is it more jobs here and there? So that's a good question. I think people often confuse the two terms, job versus career. A yeah. job is something that pays the bills, right? You may get some satisfaction out of it, but it's a job. It's something that's paying the bills. It's getting you through the day. It's not necessarily a long-term thing. A career is what I was talking about before, right, about self-marketing. It's about looking long-term. What do you want to do in life? What do you want to make an impact in? What are you most passionate about? And even if you're going through different jobs, you're still in that career field, you know, it's whether it's a specific topic or region, whatever it may be. Um, and for many years in Israel, the case was you had a job that paid the bills and ultimately paid off a really good pension. So you stayed in the same position. You weren't looking to make big changes. You wanted to cash out on the pension. Things have changed with the high-tech industry here, the startup industry here. That being said, you see a lot of people moving around between jobs, right? They're looking for what's going to pay the bills, what interests me. And there's a lot of benefit to that, right? Like moving around just like a liberal arts or humanities degree, right? In the first one, two years, you're, cha you're taking different subjects, you're seeing what interests you, and then you have to focus. Um, moving to Israel is about reinventing yourself to a certain extent. You have that opportunity to do it. Um, but just as you have to articulate what you're interested in and why your degree fits into where you're applying, same thing here. Are you looking for something long-term? Are you looking for something short-term? You need to be as honest with an employer as you are with yourself. It's actually interesting, and I'll, I'll put you on a spot here. How hard is it to get a job here? And, and, and I'm talking about everyone. I'm not just, I mean, we're talking about specifically for Anglos, who their Hebrew level could be high or low or none, and we're talking about the startup nation, and we're talking about, I think, the most uh, extreme uh, environment for, for working and expectation for success. It's a, it's a great question. I get this a lot. I mean, it, there, the survey is somewhere around 40% of the economy here is small business slash startup. I mean, what is a startup? Just a glorified small business. That's a lot. That's a lot of risk. That's a lot of potential um, exits, that's a lot of potential bankruptcy there, but that's also a lot of potential as well. Um, what I would say to people is that, again, first off, it's about marketing, how you market yourself, what you're interested in. The second is a word I always tell Olim to use, is the word investment. Even if you don't come from a financial background, even if um, you know nothing about finance and you're in the most abs polar opposite thing, um, using the word investment um, calms the fears of a lot of Israeli employers. They look at Olim as a flight risk. Sometimes they'll literally say to you, I think you're gonna be bored and you're gonna leave in six months. Because they're like, why would anyone wanna to move to this country, right? Some people still have that mentality. The moment you say, I'm looking for a job or I'm looking for a place to invest my skill set in and in turn be invested in, that, is, that allays any cost benefit analysis, any risk factor that a potential employer has in seeing you as, oh, this person actually knows what they're talking about and is looking for something a little bit long term, not necessarily forever and ever like my parents, but something that's a little bit more steady both for our payroll, but also for our company's growth. I, I actually found that uh, from my small experience, not like yours with uh, people who are in the job and career opportunities, uh, that the modern family today of Olim is divided by one of the spouses uh, in a career and the other one in a job. Is that, is that about... Do you feel the same? I've seen that a lot. I, I definitely agree. You see people who move here both about ideology, but also what they can transfer here and whose, easy, whose skills are easy, more easily transferable to the Israeli economy than the other. Um, you do see that. You do eventually see maybe a little bit more of an even balance. Um, and what I do tell to people, do tell people is, if you do find a job and not necessarily a career, and some people can live in their country of origin and never find a career, right? There's other ways to supplement that and doing other things in, whether it's your community, whether it's elsewhere in society that supplement paying the bills and going to a nine to five job or even a nine to three job if it's a part time or whatever it may be. Um, a job also and a career doesn't have to be your whole life. We define ourselves a lot by what we do, but what we do isn't just our paycheck. It's a lot more than that.